everybody welcome back to today's episode we're back out in the open world my favorite part of this title much 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 prefer it to all the mini games and all the uh the gimmicky shit i'm just gonna be brutally honest with you all these mini games and all this chintzy crap is just annoying me but this outdoor open world aspects of the game is so amazing I love it, I love the exploration, the secrets, uh, the combat that just happens naturally. This for me is the core foundation and what makes this game absolutely amazing. So, before we get started today, over 96% of you who are viewing this series and my channel are not currently subscribed and we'd love to have you here on the channel. So make sure you comment, like, subscribe and ring the post notification bell so you never miss a future upload. And with all that out of the way, we're going to continue on our adventures in Final Fantasy VII Reba. So, we've just got a couple of um, towers and uh, intel for the region that we're going to be following up on. And I'm now noticing that a lot of the bosses and outdoor fights are becoming a lot more difficult. And they're doing a lot more uh, damage. As you can see, there seems to be a lot of electrical uh, monsters in this region. And for some reason, we are struggling to generate ATB on these. So, he's weak to fire, as we've just confirmed. We are struggling to get ATB, like I said. I don't know if it's the electrical aspect or the debuff that is currently on us. So, we're going we're gonna to switch to uh, Aerith here. Now, we do know it's weak to fire. So, we're going to slap it. With a heat wave. Boink. Bang. Did not much. Oh, he staggered it. Let's go. Boom, 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 boom. And there you go. So, applying the weaknesses is a big deal. It does matter. We are on the dynamic difficulty as well. I've not tried it on normal or easy. So maybe the dynamic difficulty does play a large factor in how difficult these fights are hit the squids area discovered oh here we go so just before we go in let's just heal up so we've got to pressure the enemy stagger the enemy and defeat all enemies within the time limit um, oh, here they are. Oh, these are a pain in the backside. They, they sort of... Uh, they crab up and go into a shell thing. But we are going to follow the rules. We are going to see if we can assess this here. Do we need to find out the weakness to so the weak to fire. So that's definitely going to be the plan of attack moving forward. Now, generally, as a rule, I do like to build up two ATB bars on all my all my cast, all my party. Oh my days, that was some big damage. Get the bed. Right, so we've got two bars on there. So we're going to do Earth now. Get these ATB bars up ASAP. Oh, get off me. Shit. What the? What the fuck? Right, hold on. Right, so now we're going to get cloud. Same again. And then what we're going to do is we're going to try and... Right, we're going to have to just try this out now. Um, so we're going to do fire. We're going to do 
fire. Wow. And we're gonna do fire. We're also going to have to use, um, so we've not took that one out yet, I don't think. So there we go. Beautiful. So sadly, we've only got 34 seconds left. We are going to have to use a cure on Earth. And see how we can do this here. Got 30 seconds left. We might just about do this, guys. Uh, it's looking quite good, actually. Uh, we're going to use fire. Overcharge. Oh, my. Uh? What? We never got a stagger? Really? Oh, my God. Oh, we'll, we'll, I think we'll try this again. Hold, it. hold on, hold on, hold on. Um... I don't understand why we never got a stagger. Um, well, let's try this one again. I'm a little bit upset about that, actually. Um, the hell? So let's just go straight in now with a fire on this. So we are going to switch to Barrett here. Staggered. Let's go. Maximum fury. Spectacular. So, our combat prowess is definitely improving. And we're doing pretty good here. It's, I think it's kind of... Oh, shit. I think it's kind of randomised our party, though. I don't recall picking this party the set up. The hell? That's so annoying. Right, let's go. Um, for some reason it silenced us. We'll just call it the Chocobos here, get them finished off. Do we need to uh, use fire here again? There we go. Staggered again. So now we're staggering him for fun. But last time we, we we couldn't stagger him. I mean, that's just weird, right? No escape. So the fire is definitely optimal for this fight. 150%. Pressure and bra uh, braver. Bang. Let's go. Congratulations. Well done. So, definitely, um, definitely a win there for us. Let's uh, have a look where we need to go here now. So, we've covered the tower, the world intel, this here. 
We've done another live spring over here. Now, one thing we've not uncovered yet is the chocobos for the region. Uh, we could do with finding those ASAP. So we do indeed have a vehicle and a, a method of transport. Um, with that, it's going to be a long and windy road. But I'm sure we will come across one. Very shortly. Look at that. What is that helicopter in the sky? What the hell? So let's go into battle here. We are running low on ether though. It's a bit of a pain in the backside. Overcharge. Dodge. And we did forget to heal up prior to this fight. Oh, big damage though. Big damage though. Uh, she's uh, a miss potion on the part here. Heal us all up a little bit. Uh, high potion on Barrett. We are going to struggle with our ether though. Did we get enough materials to actually make one? Damn, son. So we need some beast talons. I think we we would have benefited a little bit more from uh, farming the men's on uh, prior to moving on. But obviously, for the sake of time constraints and getting the series completed in a reasonable amount of time, it wasn't really an option. So we're just going to have to persevere. And see indeed how we get on here. I'm sure there's gonna be loot and stuff. Do a braver. Boom. I'm sure there's gonna be loot and stuff like that along the way. So. We know these are weak to fire. Boom. Big damage. We got a beast bone there. Um, I think realistic. Oh, what's up here? I think realistically, we're just going to have to. Oh, what's this? Twilight Hill. There's some treasure around here, apparently. Nice. Nice. -y. Let's have a look. A little bit of a rummage around here, see if we can find these boxes. High portion. I'm just wanting to say ether. Just give me ether. I, don't, I mean, I'm not sure whether the MP does recharge naturally over time. Or you get X amount of free spell casts. But, um, so that's back down. We don't want to be going that way. Oh, there's a chocobo. Gonna take us to a bench. Uh, right, there's one box. Nice. We've got two plumes of Phoenix down. Still no ether, though. There is supposed to be a another box nearby. Can we get up these yet? Doesn't look like it. Maybe we get a tool or something that can enable us to use those. Uh, kind of would make sense, right? Or possibly they're only available to go down. Upside the cushion. Right, nice. So let's just have a look. Where's our little Moogle friend here? Uh, Chocobo, mate. Was he pissed off? Was he back down here? He seems to have gone missing. Or is that him over there? Oh, I hope I can hear him. Oh, there he is. Let's follow him. Should take us to a bench where we can get all our ether back and stuff because we did find a cushion. 
There we go. Nicey nice. Do these like your fast travel points and stuff like that? And like your outer world uh, outdoor benches? So as opposed to using a tent like we did in past Final Fantasies. Um, with these you kind of use your cushion. And you're going to get back all your... Uh, all your MP, health, everything. Gonna be very, very useful along the way. So there we go. Yee, yee, yee. Little cute, isn't it? Little cute little bugger. Right, let's get some more loot over here. See if we can't uh, transmute some ether yet. No, it's not looking good. Fortress Bracer. Do we want to work up to getting these as well? These are quite a big upgrade, actually. Uh, but we need to be level 7 for those. So the crafting is quite important. You do get some decent stuff from it, actually. It's probably going to save us a lot of gil on our travels. Staggered, nice. I think we are going to turn off that combo switch. Um, which they essentially should have called it all oh, target switch, I think. Because that's kind of what it feels like. I mean, this guy's just annoying me now. Fire. Oh, what the hell? Ooh, there we go. Um, so we are going to go into the settings here, actually. I'm pretty sure that's what's causing the... I'm pretty sure that's what's causing the uh, target switching functionality during a combo. I think it's causing a few issues where we're swapping to targets that we don't particularly want to be switching to. Um, so it could be something to bear in mind if you're having a similar issue yourselves with the game. I mean, it's not perfect, but it is nevertheless a great game. Where the hell is that guy going? Have we got another bench here already? Which way has he gone? Oh yeah, we've got another one over here. Holy shit. Or is this one we've already got? We also need to be following these. Destroying these gives us... I can't remember what it gives us, but... It gives us something good. So Alexander's probably a summon. You do a lot of new summons and stuff from getting them crystals, and they do quite a few different little things, I believe. We got another chocobo stop. Fantastic. Let's go. See the every the the mini games and the stuff aside that I didn't really enjoy. Um this more than makes up for it. See if there's anything secret over here. It is looking like there's something in here. Oh my god, I was right. Let's go. Unable to obtain Sprig. Okay. So perhaps we should transmute some... Uh, some high portions. What does Phoenix Draft do? Um... We'll do three of those. Um... We've got four of those. Um, just do four high potions. They're always going to come in useful. And hopefully that's going to bolster a little bit of our crafting XP. 
It's very, very easy in the open world to get sidetracked. Oh my god. Holy shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Cloud just got absolutely deleted there. Oh my god. These things are just deleting us, man. Better get back from this. It's gonna stun us. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Oof. Cloud got absolutely, like, one-tapped. It's not a good sign, really. We are going to heal up the party here, though. There we go. We're back on form. Not to worry. We are going to have to be a little bit more cautious around these fights now. Especially expending resources we can't really afford to re-farm in this playthrough. Obviously, when I go uh, deeper into the hard, hard difficulty mode, we are going to be looting a lot more stuff and making sure that we are set up with everything we need. But that's like new game plus. We're going to have a lot more uh, stuff available. I really wonder what's in that chopper. It's kind of annoying me, actually. So... I'm questioning, how do we get up here, actually? Do we were? We were up there. I wonder if we can actually travel down the zip lines as opposed to go up them. Maybe they're available just for descending. And we kind of need to go back up here where we were before. And uh, swing down. I think that could be the plan so we got a twilight hill cash location so there is a box up here that we haven't found yet kind of annoying so this is the thing to go over there we go nice so I was right, yeah. We can go down them. Oh my god. Again? I do think we may need to equip some air to stop the the stunning. Oh my god. Use a fire spell here. Hold on. Do our wild charge synergy ability. Beautiful. Ah, oh, look at the mad dash ability. That's sick. Right, let's get some fire going. Uh, let's try bio, actually. I think the combat camera uh, could use a lot of work. It can get a little bit crazy. So I do apologize for that. It's not an intentional factor. It's just something that's out of my control. But the combat camera for me could either need to zoom out a little bit more. Or have a little bit of a better transition when it goes near walls and stuff. But these are all little things that can be patched out. I mean, thankfully, the core gameplay itself is very, very, very good. And it's a massive, massive step up on the, uh, the previous title, which was Remake. And uh, yeah, it's got me hyped for the next part, whenever that may be. I think we're going to be waiting a hell of a long time for that, though. As I do not think games like this can be made very quickly at all. Uh, so we've got some more intel here. Let's go. 
Okie dokie. So yeah, I was right. Each one of those nodes is like... Uh, it's like something that, that we're doing in the area. So in order to get 100%, I mean, I wonder what happens when you complete all the nodes in a zone. Maybe you get something legendary or a secret item. No spoilers in comments if you've already done that yourself, though. Uh -oh, let's have a look. Right, so where do we need to actually move on to? Oh, what is this? Moogle Intel. Interesting. Beamed Intel 2. So like I said, I am... I'm doing a few little bits and bats. But generally speaking... Oh my god, what the hell happened there? I am just trying to progress through the main story. Had I not been streaming this, I probably would have, like, absolutely gone into every nook and cranny and every little orifice uh, and got... But I think... Well, I don't know. Is that a type of playthrough that people would like to see? I mean, I'm quite happy to do it. I'm going to be doing it anyway. But uh, I just weren't sure whether people would actually enjoy watching that. Maybe that could be my little niche here on YouTube. Doing playthroughs 100%. Um, and doing long plays. Maybe two to three hour videos. Of doing every little bit and every little detail of every game that I play. Perhaps that is something we can look into moving forward. Let's just have a little gander around here. See if there's anything worth looting. Mega Potion. It's looking like perhaps this unlocks later on. Can we, can we use this? That's uh, looking broke down, actually. No good. We're going to have to hop put it. Hiking Trail. So I'm wondering what the Chocobo power is in this region. Oh, so each Chocobo we've unlocked has had like a new power. So we've got to walk? Ah, oh, you'll be fine. Fresh air, nice view. Loves it, don't you, Ufa? Not unless you enjoy staring at ruined reactors. <sighs> right. You grew up around here, didn't you? <sighs> Let's get a move on. Materia's like I think it's pretty cool that they're doing the backstories to all the characters so, as well. So that means wherever we find Mako, we'll find Materia too. <laughs> all right, timeout's over, team. Let's go. You know, Yuffie, when you're part of a team, you can't just do whatever you feel like. What? So does that mean? Well, the music's changing. That's pretty crazy. We're going to keep getting as many materials as we can. <laughs> Permission to blow my nose, sir. There's a lot of uh, little tidbits off the broken track. That's an abuse of power. Tyrant, tyrant. Yuffie's so funny, man. I like her. So, we've got the mountain track on here. Can we get up here? Ooh. Clown Mount Corral. Oh, what's it here? So it is quite free farm, this actually. Kind of interesting. Oh, way up, way up. Sorry. My legs are killing me. Oh, poor Earth. She's tired. Let's rest here. But if we stop now, I just saw a purple box. I mean, the mystery men might slip away. Hey, I know what to do. I'll go on ahead and scout the area for us. You guys can catch up later. Well, see ya. <laughs> catch up later, my ass. <sighs> I think I'd better go keep an eye on them. Barrett's not himself right now, you know? 
I know. It's, it's pretty cool. We've seen Cloud's hometown. We saw her, where her origin story's from. Obviously, Tifa with seventh, he seventh Heaven. And now we've got a bit of Baron's backstory, which is pretty damn cool, in my opinion. We've also got maybe a possibility a weapon here. These boxes usually do have a weapon. We got the wizard's rod. Oh my god. That looks phenomenal. Holy shit. Um, let's just give this to Aerith. A magical staff. So this really amps the ma we still haven't got our amplified materia. Um kind of uh, elemental, sorry. My bad. Which basically means we can put that staff looks so badass. Then we can basically use the conjoining materia slots to add elemental damage to our weapon. But we still not managed to actually unlock one of those yet. So we got some SP to spend here for on our folio. It's basically like our combat uh, tree. Reduce damage 5% while guarding. That's going to come in useful. We ain't going to overlook that node at all. Um, we were just going for the offensive stuff. But looking at it now, we are going to need increased fleecing familiar duration. Tifa makes use of Earth magic to deal damage across wide areas. Divine punishment. That seems pretty cool. Um... Increase fire, ice, lightning, and wind damage by 3%. We're definitely going to need that. We don't actually have enough SP here to do this. Maximum MP we're not interested in. Vengeance Gorge, Charge Rare, upon successfully blocking, that'll be pretty useful. Okay, let's uh, get our MP uh, and our health back for the party. Make sure that we're fully stocked. And we're also going to go to the potion vendor. Once we get a chance and just see if there's any ether that we can buy. And we also need the elemental... Allows you to use physical and magic attack strength for these spells. Pairing with the water material against resistors. Physical magic reduction. Assess, steal, HP up, look up. Item master. Dead pass block, precision, abyssal bangle. Ooh. Well, that's pretty good, actually. So we got two of them old beast bracelets now. We're going to equip those momentarily. Uh, headband. Have a look at what else we've got here. We've already got the earrings on. Um, so we've got ten, 10 cushions. Holy shit. There's no ether. Like, what the hell? They're doing us, they're doing us dirty here, but uh, like, holy shit. So we got an old beast bracelet here. Yuffie's got one on as well. That's where the other one comes from. So Yuffie's already hit it out. Now, I'm going to guess Earth's taking a break here because we're po possibly going to get into a bit of a rumble. Um... Oh, she's actually moving again, actually. Okay. We'll continue our way up the mountain. Soundtrack's absolutely phenomenal. Oh, here we go. Sandhog Pie. One thing we've not been using, actually, which we, we really need to start using, is the steel 
Materia. Oh no. So actually, before we continue. Oh, way up to Materia. Oh, what a find. Yeah. That were a good little spot, weren't it? So before we carry on, we are going to get the uh, steel material, I think. We've definitely not been utilising the steel material. Hang on, we've got four of these. What the fuck? Have we even got them equipped? Prayer, assess. Right, steel. It's always been a great way to get the red. I mean, what weapon have we got for red here? These don't seem to have many slots on. This one exploits enemy weakness. Uh, we definitely want to use that. And we'll give him some vitality growth here. And we'll give him a steel material as well. We definitely want to start stealing from enemies as much as possible. Um, nice. Ooh. There we go. Let's see what materia this is. Uh, orb of Innovation Materia. Never even heard of that one. What does that actually do? We've got Fire and Ice Materia as well. We don't need the Ice one. Innovation D protect D shell. So perhaps resistance reduction. Hmm. An interesting one. There's so many new materials in this game, we are going to have to use enemy skills as abilities. Increase the match HP, strength, magic. This could be a good one to actually start looking into. These yellow materials are the really interesting ones, in my opinion. Uh, the ones that I feel are going to be unleashing the most power from builds and characters. But only time will tell whether I'm correct on that matter. And it is a little bit off topic. But I've been playing a lot of Street Fighter 6 recently. And Akuma just got announced today. So we are going to be doing some videos on Ed. Um, some rank climbs. And possibly some live streams. So like I always say, make sure you subscribe with that post notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on that it should be a doozy let's go uh, oh what the hell so like I said we're going to start using our um, our steel here fail to steal item who will try again Do we fail to steal item again? Um, what is going on? Cloud's getting absolutely done over here. Abilities, soul drain, lustrous shield. What the hell? Material level up, your ice material is improved. Beautiful, beautiful. I have noticed that material leveling up in this game is a lot slower than the last title. Like, crazy. Holy shit. Leave me alone. The hell? Rolling Thunder. Boom. Boom. 
Nice. So, uh, she's pure on everything. Make sure she's back at full HP. Oh, what's this? Is this a little little secret? Shark jarring Yuffie left you. The hell? Why would you? I thought Yuffie was with us. Perhaps you can actually deny her joining the party, though. Um, and maybe that's what the chart drawing is for. Like, something that she leaves if, if she's not in the party. Or whatever. I'm going to have a little look around here. See if we can indeed activate the old lift. It's looking like it's not actually available. A little bit of a shame. Try and use our steel again. It's not really been yielding any results. We've got a spring of sages. Let's just have a look. Failed steel item. Feels bad. Let's go. I'm actually wondering what the level cap in this game is, if it's 50 or higher. It was 50 in the last title. I hope that it possibly does go up more in this game. Oh, nice. A little bit off the beaten track here. But I might as well farm a little bit of XP. Uh, use static shot didn't seem to be very effective at all let's just have a look so we've got fire and blizzard in one right so having that one materia equipped I thought he did uh, frost fire damage actually turns out that it just gives you the ability to use um It just gives you the ability to use both. So essentially, it just saves the materia slot when you unlock the uh, the fire and ice and the wind and uh, uh, the lightning. It does just kind of save you uh, materia slot, which is useful. But I kind of thought they'd be a hybrid spell there. Uh, sadly, that's not the case. Pearl Ginger Root. Interesting. We're going to make our way up here. Looking like there's a box in here, actually. Oh, okay. Three handfuls of gold dust. We're going to use our Firebolt Blade. Boom, boom, boom. Very effective. Pressure both of them, actually. Nice. So, this is showing... Yuffie... <laughs> is that supposed to be Barrett? Oh, my God. how effective this is uh fireball blood again seems to be a very very effective ability just like that okay nice block nice block we did block the debuff which i never knew you could actually do um let's uh hear ourselves here Make sure we're nice and healthy. We are going to find a bench shortly, I hope. We're out of ether again. Seems to be a recurring theme. I mean, Cloud's not a mega magic user, but... 
Nice. Nice. One shot. Boom. Loot all this. Looks like we may be at the top here. Oh no, we've been bloody done again by that. Because your magic shit keeps enemies at bay and stops projectiles. Put this on our Oh my god. The hell? Get into Avengers mode here. Use Siphon Fang. We'll use uh, Sidewinder. Switch to Cloud. Big damage. The Breva, boom, and again, boom. Are we looking like she's in a bit of trouble here? Nice. She's uh, definitely some definite interest in abilities there with the synergy I'm a little bit confused though between the actual synergy abilities and the ones that you get from holding block um, definitely definitely a bit strange uh, because I was under the impression that when you block there were the synergy abilities unless it's a bug and then when you go to the menu, but I think the actual menu is for like the synergistic limit breaks. I don't think they're the same, um, the same thing. I just think it's poorly worded. Ah, oh, we've got some more stuff here. Let's go. Um, do a triple slash here. Oh my god. So I think Aerith has definitely got Razor Barrier that simply freezes enemies. Wow, that is so cool, eh? He's got some sick abilities uh, in this game. He really does come online as like a, like a full-on beast of a mage in this game. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. So thankfully it's gone for me there, but it's been frozen. I'm gonna try to steal here. Uh, chilling raw. I'm gonna do a triple strike here. Yeah. Nice. That was a that was a good fight. Oh, beast talons. There, what we're looking for, right? To make the ether. All right. Hold on. Yeah, boy. Can we make another one? Oh, that's that. Oh, that just to make one. <laughs> Holy shit. They really don't want us having ether. Let's have a look. See if there's any secrets around here. I find it so difficult just to try and progress the story. Because my OCD is just telling me, hey, 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 there could be something here, there could be something here. It's just like, I've, I've got to try really hard just to try and progress through the story as much as humanly possible. Unless it's absolutely required uh, to sort of farm, level up. Really? 
She's so weird, Eric. Right? <laughs> So she's cracking up from the lack of oxygen it would appear. Do a triple strike here. That frost shield's pretty epic. Um, also enables it to be able to charge up a staff safely, which has always been a bit of an issue. Especially in Final Fantasy VII Remake. I did tend to find that whenever you tried to use her, she'd literally just get stun locked or booted out of her abilities. It was a real pain in the ass, to be honest with you. But what I do love, now we're out in the open world, we're not doing the mini games. I know I keep crying about the mini games. Boo hoo, boomer. Yeah, I'm a boomer. Yeah, I'm a crybaby. So what? Deal with it. <laughs> um. I will say, time absolutely flies. I adore this outdoor part. Like, it's so good. Like, the entire game should be out here for me. Um, are we... Is this the same way that we could have gone? Like, we've just gone a different route? Or is this a secret area? Is this the way we could have come up before? It's essentially the same route, right? making sure we're not missing out on anything crucial um i don't think we are we'll crack on them so i am thinking now now the game's getting into its stride we've got our abilities our powers we sort of know what, what we're doing and things are starting to flow whether you want me to keep this in one hour segments and just keep it as we've been doing it or maybe do like a two or a three hour um, episode. And start really digging in deep for some of the extra stuff that's available. Uh, let's have a look. So that stops projectiles, which is insane. And then this one freezes enemies which I just think is absolutely epic I'm presuming bosses are going to be immune to it because I just can't see how that would be balanced against bosses heatwave let's try this out boom he's a thick character in this like the, the way they progressed all the characters like the only one for me that I don't think changed much is like Barrett but to be honest with you Barrett was okay in the last game like I didn't really have an issue with his abilities and stuff and even Barrett, I think they've, they've, they've vastly improved in a lot of ways in these animations and and stuff. I mean, I really didn't think they could really improve that much on the last game, so it, I've been pleasantly surprised. But a lot of my pros and cons are going to be... Oh my god, we're going to get slapped here. We are going to have to use the... So we're going to have to use that to stop these projectiles, these electric projectiles. Obviously, we're going to keep Aerith safe here. And obviously, use Gyra on Cloud. Keep Cloud pumped up. Put a pump it up. Let's go. Um... The music's just so good. And I love this Chrono Aegeus. Look at that. Just uses time to slow him. So good. So fucking good. Which makes these fights so much more enjoyable. Um, I really hate spellcasters in games like this. Like, I'm, I'm all about that melee life. I like hunters with ranged weapons uh, and then like warriors and like mage, mage are right at the bottom of my list after druids and shamans and all sorts of other stuff in other games but I will be honest I really do enjoy the spellcasting element of Aerith Tons of folks hiking up the mountain today and not a one of them so much as nodded my way 
Let me try calling out to a few sick looking fellas all in black and what did I get? Silence. <laughs> I get these days. No He's not about the guys with the hoods in it. Ran into a sprightly little lady too. Now she was in a couldn't even say hello. So I must be referring to you fi here. We have got a little bit sidetracked here though. I mean I'm kind of It's kind of opened up the terrain a little bit here. And I think we've kind of lost our way a little bit. We will in soon to get back on track though, don't you worry. We got a ruby there. So I'm wondering with the rubies and stuff, like if we can start making material at some point. Looking like we're heading back here. My sense of direction is terrible. I do apologize. Um, it would be interesting to see what sort of material and stuff we can make later on. I think that would be awesome if we could like manufacture our own material and stuff. That would be really, really cool. Get these. I don't know what are these. Oh my god. I think we're gonna have to use that D shield. Uh, so this is not looking good. Oh shit! It's looking like Eris the only option to set these on. The shields are OP. Right, so we're gonna have to get some defensive abilities up here. Run away, genius! Get frozen, bitches! Oh, fuck off. Oh my god. Leave me alone! Shit, man. I'm gonna have to see what the weeks are here. Um, let's try Blizzardara. Critical. Nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're burning, we're burning, we're burning, guys. No. Fuck off. Right, hold on. We've got no cure on red. Uh, oh, yeah, we have. I'm lying. Abilities. Let's try Frostbolt Blade. My god, these guys are hard to kill. Why are these so bloody hard to kill? I think this is where we need that, um... Materia that actually uh, de shields them. Do we have one here? Soul drain. These guys are a pain in the ass. Alright, what can we use here? The red seems to be able to attack here. Abilities. Uh, greatly increased Vengeance Guard. Yeah, it's looking like Arif's out of this. Yet. We can't even build meter on these guys. Like, what the fuck? Right, we're gonna have to assess these and just see what's what. Right, weak to frost. Right, okay. 
pam 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 Yet. Um, fuck. Oh my god. Perhaps we could use uh, Punisher Mod or something. Spells. Let's use Bayara. They're probably immune to it though, because they're doing poison, aren't they? Let's go into Avengers mode here. Oh my days. Cloud. Holy shit. We're actually in a world of trouble right now. Um. Holy fuck. We're actually going to have to use the summon here. I think we're going to be lucky if we survive it. No, get off me! Dude! He actually kidding me now. Oh my days. Well... It is what it is. But I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to retool. We're going to try that new materia that does remove the shields from enemies. And join us in the next episode to find out if we actually conquer this illustrious enemy. And like I've said earlier on, over 96% of my viewership is not currently subscribed to the channel. And we'd love to have you here with us. As always, comment, like and subscribe. And send up in the note, uh, send up in the note, guess just send up in the comments about what you enjoyed in today's video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.